So we've already learned facing, so we're not going to face this one. We're just going to learn how to rough a pocket. All right, so design mode, which is what we're in, we start by stock, except since we're not going to face, make your stock exactly the same size by changing that back to zero. PRZ, is uh, PRZ or CPL correct? Yep. yep, it's in the right place. We don't have to do anything with that. Let's go use the feature finder. Make sure that all your mill options are selected and maximum diameter of a hole is 0.5. Say okay. We're done in design mode. Switch over to manufacture mode and we're gonna name this one roughing. We're gonna make sure we have the right post chosen and we're gonna make sure that we have the CPL called top. And it's this easy. If we go to our features tab, click on features, here's one way to do it. You find that pocket, hover over it, it turns red. That boss, what's a boss again? It's an edge, right? A boss is an edge. So we can do something on that boss, we can do something on that pocket. We wanna deal with that pocket, we wanna rough it. So we're gonna right click on that 2D pocket. We're gonna choose a roughing operation. It says select boundaries. So we could select the outside edge hit enter, and it asks us some questions. We're gonna make sure the mill type is optimized so that it cuts both ways. Step over, we're not gonna mess with. What's step over again? How far it overlaps, how far the tool overlaps, very good. And we're gonna to go to tooling. What tool should we use for this? Why should we use a half inch end mill? Okay, it's the biggest one. If we wanna rough that out, what's the downside to using a half inch end mill? Well, what's gonna to happen to our corners with a half inch end mill? Okay, they're gonna be more rounded, but that's okay, it will be the, the quickest way to go. Depth, well, let's leave this alone. Cut increment is a quarter of an inch, means it's gonna cut a quarter inch each time, each pass, and we're gonna leave depth alone because it's gonna take it from the model. We say okay, and you see your tool paths, you can go to your rapid result window, And let's verify it. There's your pocket. Does anybody have any questions?